Hi, I'm Game Guy. It's time for more. Let's play Link to the Past Randomizer. All right, we got our we got our stuff. We got our stuff. Look at all our stuff. We got stuff. I got stuff. Uh, at the end of the last episode, I said I was gonna go to Eastern Palace. It occurs to me, actually. Um, I got this dang shovel. I should probably use it for its singular purpose. <laughs> Possibly. I probably should have done this when I was over at the maze race, but I kind of just didn't for some reason. I love how the Master Sword just has sword beams, and I'm just mad that they exist at all times. It's kind of my favorite thing. Uh, sword beams will alert many a guard. Yo, bombs. Sick. Yeah, so you might also notice over the course of this, like a lot of like various dialogue and little like miniature cutscenes and such have just kind of been removed from the game for an overall faster experience because, you know, the, uh, the assumption is that you've already played the game before, so, you know, <laughs> that's just kind of how it be. So I'm trying to think, actually, um, what can I actually do? right about now because um i got titan's mitt which is cool but what does that do for me really like for right now it kind of doesn't do a lot um so like obviously you know dark world is a thing and all that but like i could go there but i'm going to be a bunny until i have the moon pearl as you may recall uh, that thing that very briefly happens in the vanilla game that just kind of doesn't matter if you bother to check everything. You know, the, the big chest. You probably want the big chest, right? Hey there, Sir Harararol. How you doing today? How you doing today? I'm gonna blow up your wall and get your stuff, because that's just what I want to do with my life. Never mind, there's the moon pearl and the ice rod. Okay, <laughs> just being able to find all that. Uh, you can talk to him. Uh, want something for free? You can get the green pendant in Swamp Palace. That sounds exciting. Actually, that's a, that's a decent segue into dungeons. Uh, yeah, uh, their prizes are random, <laughs> so, if you didn't know. Uh, so, you know. In order to beat the game, I need to get all seven crystals, which will allow me to get into Ganon's Tower, which will allow me to beat the game. Uh, so therefore, I have to go and get the crystals. It's just that the dungeons that the crystals are in are now randomized. So, you know, this is kind of not as good of a play as it turns out it should be, or was, rather. Because, you know, now that I have Moon Pearl, uh, I have access to, like, all of Dark World. But I said I was gonna be here, and I'm gonna be here. All right, so fun little quality of life thing here. You might notice uh, in the UI in the top left, it says C, and you might also notice this is the Dark World dungeon music. So like, you know, we've got various indications for, you know, whether it's a crystal or a pendant dungeon. So, you know, you gotta pay attention to these little details. All right. Something of note, uh, in standard settings anyway, the maps, compasses, and various keys will all be in their respective dungeons, so, you know, keep that in mind. That does make diving into dungeons, like, while something you need to do to beat the game, it makes it so that there's not as many items you can find in here as you might think initially. Though, like I said, this is, you know, standard settings, so. Just kind of a thing. Well, I found powder. Eastern Palace, if I'm remembering right, I should probably look this up. I think there's two uh, unique items in here. I think, like, non dungeon items. You know what? I should probably look that up, like, real quick, like, because I know I have a list somewhere in the universe. Possibly. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's three, actually. Sorry. Okay, see, this is why I check. <laughs> this is why I check. I mean, there were six in Escape, but, like, uh, the Escape sequence is, you know, kind of just a, a thing that is pretty scripted, all things considered. Man, I'm, got, I'm glad I got sword beams in this room. 
it's, it's a pretty cool time being able to sword beam the dang skeleton. I just kind of missed the chest. All right, well, I got the big key so I can, you know, check the big chest because I can't go any further. Hint tiles in this game, other than the Hulahan room anyway, will provide you with a hint. The boots is in Cannon's Tower. What a fun hint. <laughs> it's not a fun hint at all. That's rude. What if I want to go fast? All right, so I got two items. Technically speaking, I could continue on, but there's a dark room up ahead. And because I'm playing by the logic rules, then I shouldn't go on ahead. So, you know, that's just, that's my lot in life. Uh, well, I guess I should go to Dark World then. I shouldn't go to Dark World from here. That's, that's not gonna work. <laughs> I gotta go to Dark World from elsewhere. Um... There's a portal in Kakariko Village. You can talk to Zelda or, for some reason, the priest, uh, if you want some free healing at the start. Likewise, uh, your house has, like, hearts under pots. So, you know. Uh, if you didn't happen to have bombs during the escape sequence to get, like, the three chests behind the wall and whatnot, you can push this gravestone. Uh, which, you know, opens up a hole to down there. I have no reason to go down there. I'm just kind of showing it to show it. If I could ever push it. <laughs> yeah, this is it's just a secret little passage there. You probably had to use that in the vanilla game if you wanted to check what was in those chests, which I think was mostly just money. So it wasn't overly necessary. But, you know. Man, all the guards love me today. I'm just they're like, wow, it's Kirby! Why is he blue? That's weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what guards are thinking. All right, up here, there's a large dark stone. I gotta lift that up using my Titan's mitt, but this allows me to get to Dark World now, so. Yeah, Dark World time. All right, what are my dungeon situations? That's pretty cool. So, you might notice the five and six crystals are red in color because they are special. Uh, you may recall the pyramid that has the um, the bombable wall thing that you need the super bomb for. Uh, in order for the super bomb to become available, you need to get the fifth and the sixth crystal specifically. So that's what that's about. In case you wanted to know, you can spend money here and uh, your second treasure chest will always be the prize. Chest game is easy. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad. That, uh, they decided to do that. Uh, okay, so there's two houses in here that have stuff. This one is referred to as C-shaped house. Can you guess why? Probably not, but, you know. Gosh, like, who, who even lives in a house like this? That's just not even a good house. Like, goodness gracious. Like, just, I don't know. You just got, you got this labyrinth thing going on here, and like, it's like a single table at the end. Like, I don't know, it's weird. I think this is called the brewery. Hey, there's my lamp. I can see in the dark, finally. All right, well, good. <laughs> These bushes here have a decent chance of dropping bombs, by the way. They never did out of the ten times I lifted them up, but, you know. Uh, do I want to wander around Overworld a little bit first? I guess I could. I mean, I went into Eastern. That was a, a dungeon per episode kind of deal. There's this frog over here, but I don't want to talk to him yet for shenanigans. <laughs> ha having people follow you around is kind of a weird thing in this game. I, I mean, there's really only like three instances of that, but you know. So you can talk to this guy and you can play the digging game. The digging game, you have a random amount of times you have to dig before the item shows up. I think up to like 30. I forget exactly the number, but like, you're pretty much guaranteed to get it as long as you aren't too slow at digging. If you hear that noise, that means it was your prize. Just putting it out there. 
Uh, I like to usually try and keep digging a little bit because sometimes you can get a bunch of red rupees and then it's, I'm getting a lot actually. Uh, they're pretty good prizes, all things considered. I'm pretty much set for money as far as the seed goes, so that's cool. So the reason I did this first, which is normally a bad idea because the only way to get up this path is if you have Titan's Mitt or if you like, you know, reset and like save warp back to uh, wherever. To, to get to Dark World and such. Uh, but yeah, like this frog guy here, uh, once he starts following you, you cannot play the digging game. Uh, nor are you able to enter dungeons. I think you can, let me just check here. You can enter houses. Yeah, he's, he's still following me, it's fine. All right, so we're gonna go on a, a small little journey here. But yeah, he will not let you enter dungeons as long as he's following you. So you're gonna have to get rid of him before you can you know, do anything, but I want to head over here, because, uh, it's good old stump me. Good, good old Stumpy. He's got myself some green potion. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, you may have noticed, bottles kind of come randomly filled with stuff, so that's pretty exciting. Everybody loves the excitement that is bottles. Not to be confused with the mole. It's a very different individual. Please, please go away. You guys are very mean. I don't like you. It's a good thing I had the Master Sword, or at least a sword at all, because, man, ending up in Dark World with no weapon to speak of is kind of the worst thing. This, this cave here is lovingly referred to as Hype Cave for reasons that no longer make sense. <laughs> it's fine. Talk to that guy for a thing. Uh, and there's four checks back here. Uh, sometimes they're cool, like right now, there's there's the hammer, I love the hammer, it's great. I think this is called Hype Cave because the logic of the randomizer used to be such that uh, this cave frequently had a lot of good items in it, just because of how quickly it's accessible, I guess, and just how the randomizer worked in that way, I don't know, it's, it's complicated, but it's... It's just kind of another area you can get checks at now. So, you know, it's fine. It's still pretty good. I mean, obviously, this I'm not going to scoff at five checks. Why am I trying to go here? I literally just said earlier, I can't take you into dungeons. I have no real reason to go in there because I don't even have the flippers or the mirror anyway. Which, by the way, those are things that you need to go in there. But, like, you can go in there and get a hint. That's pretty cool. Because I got the hammer, actually, I'm gonna keep wandering around a little bit more here. It sounds like a good idea. Because uh, once you have the hammer, you can cross this uh, nine pegs to Sunday zone over here. Uh, I could go to Palace of Darkness, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I've decided against it. I wanna go to the pyramid, because there's an item on the pyramid, and it's just kind of a weird out of the way place, generally. So, you know, let's just go check that out right quick. Do I want to go all the way north? Because there's another thing I can get if I go all the way north, but I don't know if I want to. All right, so here, this is a nice little sign. It, you must, you gotta get seven crystals and defeat his minion at the top of his tower. Uh, this sign right here will tell you what your goal is, in case you forgot. I mean, you probably shouldn't forget because, I mean, you set that up when you start the game. Granted, you can have certain requirements be randomized, so going there is a nice way to confirm what your goal is. So, you know. It's just kind of a nice little thing that they added to the game. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna keep going full north here. It's fine. I, I like going full north. Kirby gets stabbed by spears and it's sad. It's just sad. I'm, I'm just so sad about the spearning. Ow. Well, I'm very good at video games. This frog is here to attest to this. I mean, he knows. He's well aware of the irony. It's just, it's just a thing. <laughs> if you don't have Titan's Mid or Boots, you can just jump down there if you want. Takes a little bit longer, but, you know, this isn't completely inaccessible, even if it might initially look as such. 
All right, y'all remember Quakefish, right? You gotta throw something into his pond and he gets mad and throws a thing at you. Isn't that exciting? I love excitement. 20 bucks for my just rudeness. So here's the thing. I don't have the mirror. So how do I get Frogman back to reality? Uh, turns out he persists through save and quits, which is the only way this is gonna actually work. Uh, this is another randomizer exclusive thing. Zelda is mysteriously gone because there is a small smithy man in the room. Zelda just refuses to be seen <laughs> under such circumstances. It's fine. So yeah, you know, now we're just back in the light world. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well... You guys remember how the smithy works. You just gotta take him back to his little blacksmith shop. It's just it's just a place that's over here in Kakariko Village. Um, oh yeah, I got the powder. I can check the magic bat. That's a thing I can do. This is all very convenient, actually, in a way. Alright. So in order for this to work, uh, you step in the room, he walks away. Now you gotta leave, and then you gotta go back in and then talk to them. And they made you some money. Uh, it's worth noting, you actually have to pay 10 rupees to get whatever item they have. Uh, it's kind of a, an obscure little thing that occurs. So, you know. Y'all remember Magic Bat, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> He's gonna curse me with some kind of crazy item. Like a, like a piece of heart. Dang, I've been cursed with a little bit of love. A quarter of love. Only a quarter though. It's just, it's only a quarter. It's not, not any more, not any less. Uh, okay, well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, actually. We're gonna finish this little chain of events up because once you've done the smithy, you may recall something else happening. So let me, real quick, head back over to the darkened world. Probably. Seems like a good idea to me. All right. The darkened world. Here we are. All right, just gotta walk all the way over there. Just, Kirby's gotta do his signature waddle. Just uh, the signature little waddle that he does just all the way over this is where he's gotta go. He's got things to do and people to see and there's guards around. You need Titan's Mitt to go in here because there's just dark rocks everywhere. Uh, you know what, actually? So, there's a cool trick you can do if you have the boots, but um, I don't, and I won't. So, we're just gonna do this manually. I'm gonna do this manual style. It's fine. I mean, I said I was gonna do things mostly vanilla, but I mean, this is just kind of like a speed thing, not really like a sequence break. So, you know, it's, just, it's fine. It's fine. Yo, check out this money that I found in this cave. I love it. Money is exciting. You're gonna find a lot of it. <laughs> All right, purple chest. Also persists through save and quit because it kind of has to at this point because I don't have a dang mirror anywhere in my life. Uh, purple chest is a little bit different in that it doesn't let you go inside buildings and such normally. Like I think actually if I try to go back in, it won't let me, yeah. Uh, but you can press the A button to drop it, and it allows you to go in, and then you can come back out, and it'll be waiting for you. Uh, don't leave it behind uh, anywhere, like if you're warping between worlds of the mirror or something, because uh, you might not be able to get it back. I think it also despawns if you go into like a dungeon? And or if you like go in and beat the dungeon because I know I've had it despawn before and I've never been entirely clear why So, you know, it's just kind of a thing. Hey guy. Cool. Thanks for the heart. Well, we did stuff um, 
I think next time, where could we go? Uh, you know what? We're gonna go to Death Mountain. I know that's a pendant. I don't necessarily need the pendant, but I'm still gonna go there. Because there's stuff I can do there, possibly. I mean, there's not a lot of stuff, actually. I'll probably go to a Dark World dungeon somewhere, actually. Well, I mean, I could finish Eastern, but I might do that later. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you later, and goodbye.